Hi, and welcome to our new section in this course. In this section, we'll use the oscilloscope to measure various parameters of a PWM signal. Let's have a look at the circuit to begin with. We'll use an Arduino to create a PWM signal and drive an LED. The LED is connected to pin number 9, which is PWM capable. To control the duty cycle of the PWM signal, we'll use a potentiometer connected to analog pin 0. We'll connect the probe of the oscilloscope directly to the pins of the LED and set the triggering mode to automatic. Because the PWM signal is repetitive, the oscilloscope will be able to detect its features without trouble and set the trigger without further input from us. This is the biggest difference between the signals we've been experimenting with previously in this course and what we'll see in this and in the next section. When the signal is repetitive and regular, automatic trigger will usually work out of the box. In this experiment, setting up the oscilloscope's trigger is very easy. Just press the auto button. My oscilloscope offers four automatic trigger modes which allow us to focus on specific features of the waveform like its width and up or down slopes. Once the auto mode sets up the trigger, we can start taking measurements we look at the frequency, width, duty cycle, period, and the max voltage of the sample PWM signal. We'll take measurements on the fly and see them change as we change the signal's duty cycle using the potentiometer. We'll also play with the cursors, especially in automatic mode, and see how they adjust when the signal changes. Let's start. <laughs> 